Israel Gaza Iran War News Live Update Iran and Turkmenistan reach gas supply agreement for Iraq. Tehran plans to construct a pipeline to facilitate assistance delivery. You can see Baghdad, the capital of Iraq, on this map of the country. By AP Photo, Press Release A report from Ashgabat, Turkmenistan, the two countries inked a deal on Wednesday for Iran to import 10 billion cubic meters of gas per year from Turkmenistan and thereafter export it to Iraq. In announcing the deal, Turkmenistan's foreign ministry did not disclose the contract's value. In order to increase Turkmenistan's supply capacity, Iranian businesses will build a new 125-kilometer, 77-mile, pipeline to Iran, according to the ministry's statement. There would be an annual rise in gas deliveries to Iran from Turkmenistan to 40 billion cubic meters, according to the ministry. About 40% of Iraq's gas imports come from Iran, and the country experienced supply interruptions last year. Revenue from the sale of the gas in Turkmenistan's extensive reserves is crucial to the country's economy. Additionally, the administration was directed to explore alternate means of guaranteeing the operation of power plants in the provinces located in the country's center and south. Natural gas exports are vital to the economy of Turkmenistan, a former Soviet republic. Gas exports to China are Turkmenistan's top priority, but the government is also constructing a pipeline to send gas to Pakistan, Afghanistan, and India. Associated Press Copyright 2024 This is a copyright notice. Any publication, broadcast, rewriting, or redistribution of this information requires authorization. Twitter Facebook Reddit Message Messenger Here is the plot, U.S. Representative Mike Waltz, R. Florida is leading a legislative effort to designate the head of Iraq's highest court as a mediator of Iranian influence. Top Iraqi authorities have condemned the action as an unjustified intrusion into Iraqi domestic matters, and this has sparked widespread outrage within the country's political elite. But there are many who think this is a tremendous step in the right direction and believe it will make the justice system more accountable. According to analysts, the amendment's passage into law might have far-reaching consequences, one of which being the potential blacklisting of Iraq's judiciary. Reporting on the planned amendment to a U.S. foreign spending bill began on June 27 in conservative U.S. media. Afterwards, Waltz released the article on Twitter slash X and further stated that identifying those carrying out the Ayatollah's orders is the first step in unraveling his network of control. Keep in mind that Ayatollah Ali Khamenei is referring to Iran's top leader in the second one. Many well-known Iraqi politicians have come out in support of fake Zidane. As for Waltz's assertion, the foreign ministry has released a statement stating its total rejection of it, describing it as blatant interference in Iraq's domestic affairs. Following U.S. Congressman Mohsen al-Mandalawi's call for Baghdad to reject the amendment's adoption, which he called a dangerous turning point, the foreign ministry issued its statement just hours later. Waltz's irresponsible comments reveal that arrogant mindset and an undesirable attitude towards international issues, according to Iraqi parliament member Abbas al-Jabouri, who spoke with al-Sayyid News.